Hey guys, this is Odd One Gaming. This is going to be another Dragon Age Silent Gods video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing some summons, and it's not going to be what you expect, or maybe it is because you might have seen the thumbnail already. But I'm not going to pull my Healer right today, right? I'm saving an expectation for uh, two days, right, for Friday, because that's when, normally, from what they told us, we should have the banner dropping with the season three characters only, right? My goal is going to be to try and hopefully get Rook. Like, I'm just going to invest everything that I have over here, all my War Marrow, all my Hilo Lights, everything. So I'm going to have close to, what, 52 plus 86. It's like 140. Yeah, if my math is right. I'm tired, so it might not be, you know, my math might not be the greatest, but that's what I'm going to do. On Friday, I'm going to invest all my Hilo Lights and go all in to try and hopefully, hopefully get rook right he's my most wanted obviously in the game because he's the key to ranking really high in the in the vortex so if you want to compete and try to push to top 50 which is kind of hard right now you can see on top 100 i just cannot break the top 100 without having other ones extremely high awakened so i'm going to try and do that but up until then i'm going to be doing these 300 starlight stone die right the reason i'm doing that is because well we can get legendaries from here. For those of you that don't know, if you click on the summon details that, uh, let me show you behind me, right? Click on that one. It shows over here the rate. So 20% chance to get a rare, 3% chance to get an epic, and then 0.2% chance to get a legendary. The only thing that we have guaranteed in here is that every fifth summon, it's going to give us a rare, right? We have a... Uh, Every 35th is going to be an epic, but there's no guarantee for the legendary. So do keep that in mind, right? If you think that like, you're going to say like, oh, I did 400, 500, still got no legendary. Well, it's just the RNG. Do you hit the 0.2% or not? It's just luck of the draw. So that's what I'm hoping to get. I'm hoping to get maybe one uh, legendary. That would be really nice. Last time I did it, I didn't, I didn't get one. So maybe this time around, right? Maybe this time around because uh, it would be really fun. I would like to get some uh, awakenings for my uh some wake some inspirations wrong game too many games where you can you can upgrade your people seems like the epic rates are good though so far epic rates started good but uh i would love to get i just first of all i would love to get a stutha maybe right i didn't pull stutha yet she's the only one that i don't have from the horn i pulled pretty much everybody else either from the horn either from normal summons or from uh, starlight but just Sutha kept dodging me. I think she would be a really interesting addition to my uh, Dauntless team. Because I don't have, you know, Theraval. I don't have Nashjenka. I'm missing kind of like the top tier Dauntless one. So having Sutha be another one of those DPS would be amazing. She's really good because of all the multi-attacks that she does. Plus she can block revive on the ultimate. So, you know, that would be that would be really nice if I did that. If you recently did more Starlight uh, summons, let me know in the comments. Did you get a legendary or how many did you actually pull? Since okay, it's a legendary. It's a legendary. Come on, come on, Susa, make it be a Susa. <laughs> it's not. It's a Talwar. Talwar was my first actual pulled legendary from Healer Lights, and now I guess I got him from the Horn as well. You know what? It's a legendary. I'm definitely a hundred percent not going to give him the the inspiration, right? He's definitely not good enough for that, from my point of view. However, I can use it for the poison. If I do get lucky to pull Rook over the weekend, I'm gonna want to get that, uh, you know, the corrosion artifact. So having a poison one that I can use with Entalwar is perfect. That's a good start. That is a good start. For those of you that do not know how did I realize that I actually got a legendary, when the dice hits the floor, if you want to know, it does like some extra sparkle. You you can like shift back and check it, or maybe if I get lucky and pull another, and if I hit another one, you might see it. It wasn't there. It's like it just more, uh, there's more gold dust that jumps up, right? There's more of, more of that that uh, pretty much like hits from the ground and that's how you can tell it's a legend. I think they were uh, saying there's also a audio that you can, you know, that you can hear when you get the legendary. However, I, I don't play with the audio, right? So, uh, yeah, that's good though. I'm happy. It's, I was saying that it's been a while since I got one, but... Uh, you know what? I got it. If I even if I don't get another one, which I would love to get another one, right? How fun would that be? That would, that would make it easier for me to decide on the thumbnail, right? Insane luck on the starlight if I if I do get uh if I do get two legendaries at least. So uh 
that will be fun. But even even if not, it's still one legendary. It's still good out of three hundred. That's how that's kind of how I would expect, you know, or I would like them, which I don't think they would ever do, but. I would like them if they introduce like a mercy for this. Let's say I don't know, maybe every 500, right? Because during a season you're guaranteed to get at least 500 Starlight Stone Dice, so that would pretty much guarantee you every season that you get a at least one legendary from these. But I don't think they're gonna do it. This is just, I guess, the one where we try to get the dopamine. I always pull, I always do the polls and be like, can I get it or not? You know. Still, Talwar, Talwar, Talwar. He's definitely one of the worst legendaries in the game if not the worst like he's just not good enough as a tank he does bring some quirky stuff but there's so many better out there even epics that uh, as an example Frurbath, from my point of view is just better than tall war so i think definitely he should be put on a buff list right he should definitely get a buff so he can become a little bit more viable because right now I don't see anybody unless they desperately need a tank for poison and whatever's the pairing i don't see anybody who would like you know on purpose use a tall war. He has some quirky stuff with the mushroom and the taunt, but still, it's it's kind of tough to build him with accuracy, with resist, to be tanky, so, you know, not the best tank in the game, but still, it's a good one, it's a good one. Can I hit another one? What do we think? Okay, yes, come on, come on, I finally got Irma as well. That's really good, and the reason I'm so happy is because Irma's one, of, first of all, one of the epics I didn't have. Secondly, she's one of the very few, actually, that brings AoE buff uh, or like, you know, around her uh, control immunity, right? There's not too many uh, too many people that do that and most of them are legendary. So having someone that does control immunity is really good. She's also a good tank. I think she also brings damage mitigation on that, on that ultimate. So Irma, welcome to the team. I'm definitely looking forward to uh, playing around and using her. Maybe we need it for the for the Chaos Shadows, right? For, or for the Continental Challenges. Or not for the end game boss. I don't know because I haven't played the season 4 last season. So I'll have to see this time around. Maybe if there's like control happening in any of those bosses, Irma's going to be perfect. Come on. Can I hit another legendary? It's still a good one though. I hit the legendary and I got myself a new epic in Irma. It's a win. This one's definitely a win. I'm really happy about it. However, I would love, you know, I'm being greedy now. I would love to get another legendary. Come on. Just one more, right? One more or uh, another new epic, which I don't think there's any other epic that I can pull from these banners. Unless I'm mistaken. Maybe I'm missing someone. I guess we're going to see, right? We're going to see. Maybe I maybe I do get it, but uh, I would prefer another. I keep getting Yola, Lolita. One of my favorite epics in the game. I, I'm saying one of my because there's so many bad, uh, good epics right now that she's, uh, she's still number one for me, right? Uh, Yola is just amazing for overall. Uh, gaming like early mid end game she's still good that that ultimate is just perfect come on come on dragoner let's let's finish with the bang right let's finish with another legendary and that's gonna be amazing this is the, gonna be definitely then my best starlight summoning session if, if i do get another legendary come on 50 more to go not a legendary okay keep getting taldies as well a lot come on 45 to go nope come on 40. It's like, you know, it's like the countdown. It's the countdown to New Year. That's why I'm counting now my my uh, Starlight. I'm guaranteed at least one more epic. Because uh, every 35, like I said at the beginning, you're guaranteed an epic. Let's see. Can we actually do it? Oh, yeah. Another reason why I actually am doing this is because I need more Essence of Creation. I, I got them really... I'm, this is low, right? If I want to take one artifact from 0 to 20, and this is not enough if it's a legendary. You need like 20,000. So... I definitely needed a little bit more of this. That's why I'm doing them now. Come on. Finish with another legendary, right? Make it make it a bang. Make it uh, another legendary at the end. And it's it's going to be amazing. <laughs> I think I've seen people that got actually from this like two legendaries, which is insane luck. Like in, a, I mean, in a five pole. So, okay. Speaking of new, right? I got another new epic. I guess, uh, I guess I might have to settle for this, right? Might have to settle for this. Come on, another five pole. Okay, and uh, I guess let me do the single. I'm going to do all of them, right? Why not? Do the single and then we're going to do the last five pull and uh, maybe, maybe we finish with the bang. What do you think? Leave it in the comments below. Do you think this is the lucky one or not, right? Do you think this is the lucky one? Come on, let's see. One more? No. It's fine. It's okay. I got another epic dupe. I got more essence of creation. But you know what? It's a massive win from my point of view. Like I said, I got myself one legendary which is really good. I got myself two new epics in Irma 
And the other one, which I have no idea what he does. Let me just look, right? Let's just have a look at the lightning person. So Irma, again, the reason I said I really like her, she does control immunity around her, so if you place them right, does that plus damage reduction, which can be really powerful for 10 seconds, also does some damage. Then she can heal herself, and then she has a quirky uh, passive. And then let's see the other one. Who did I get the lightning one? So, uh, Talorian. I guess I asked for a Dauntless person and got an epic. What does he do? So, uh, City of Trials, Aura, don't like it. Basic attacks have a 20% chance to trigger a double hit. That's good. And every 1% attack speed will increase the trigger chance by 0.2%. The total trigger chance is capped at 50%. That's massive. Basically, doing two hits every time for a Dauntless person is amazing. Battle skill strikes enemy twice. This skill is regarded basic attack, as most Dauntless people are, which is amazing. Meanwhile, grants attack speed up to all Dauntless allies. Okay, it's actually really good. It's really good for a battle skill. Double head counts as basic attack, gives attack speed up for all Dauntless people. It's going to be a good addition. And that's ultimate strikes an enemy four times, each doing lightning damage. 800% is pretty good. This skill is regarded as basic attack. The subsequent five... Uh, the subsequent five times of basic attacks are guaranteed to trigger double hits. Okay, that's cool. So pretty much after you do this, even if you don't trigger this one normally, the after you do the ultimate, you're going to trigger double attacks every time. That's good. The base attack is, uh, the attack interval is two seconds. Not the best, I would prefer 1.82, but still, you can boost the attack speed considering that the, the uh, set that we have this season, season four, that gives us a ton of attack speed. This guy's going to be good. I think I'm going to have fun with some Dauntless teams. But this is going to be it for today. I'm really excited. Again, I got myself Tall War. I got myself two new epics. This is definitely a success. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please like this video. Subscribe to the channel to see when I upload next. And I'm going to see you on the next one. Peace, love, take care, everyone. Bye, guys.